Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. Kobe and I are fishing one of our favorite lakes in the snow. It's been a long time since I fly fished, well, I fly fished in, in the snow, not a lot, but it's been a long time on a lake. How about you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been like since last year in Montana. Yeah. 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 We're gonna freeze our asses off, but hopefully catch some fish. All right, let's go do this fish on. Fish on. All right, we are rigged up. And but hey, it's not raining, right? So there's a bonus. I don't see any fish rising though yet, but let's go catch a fish. Let's do this fish on. So you know the water temp's cold when there's uh, slush holding on the edge of the lake. <laughs> All right, I got my uh, squirmy wormy. I've got a crystal crystal bugger. And I've got one of those uh, those new Oros indicators there. You can see I kind of tied two colors together just for fun and visibility. But I'm going to see if uh, maybe a fish would want to eat this. I'm just going to kind of slow roll it back. It's about nine feet off the indicator. And I'm just going to cast it out and just kind of slow roll it back and see if there's uh, any fish that, that might be interested. All right, let's catch a fish. Oh, ho, ho. I had a legitimate takedown. Kobe is hooked up. Second fish. Nice. Sweet fish on. There we go. Fish on. Oh, jeez. He's got a little, quite a lot of spunk for winter time oh he took the he took the streamer yeah the the black one I just tied on off camera tied on I took the sparkle minnow off and just put on a dark fly because you know what they say right they say that uh, dark skies dark flies well it worked I put on a black streamer and immediately got into a fish. Whoa, beautiful fish. Sweet. Wow, so spotted up. Let's see if I can do this without touching him. Oh. I am gonna let you go. All right, she is unhooked and ready for release. I'm gonna try to get an underwater release with the GoPro here. Let's see if we can do this. Come on, baby. Just find your way out of the net. Come on, that's it's not very cinematic. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Sheesh, that fish, that fish made a mess of everything. Finally. Back in action. Tied on, uh, basically tied on just a darker streamer. Kind of following that rule of thumb, which I didn't when I first got here. It's doing the darker flies, darker skies. And I mean, literally, as soon as I tied that thing on, fish on. I love that. Let's hope it works. Hope it works again. Kobe with a fish on. We just got back out here from warming up in the Jeep. It looks like a good fish. The squirmy strikes again. Ah, the squirmy wormy. This time I'm actually recording. That's good. <laughs> Instead of just pointing a, pointing a camera at you without it actually rec recording. Woo. Sweet. Way to go. Nice job. There we go, fish on. Nice. Fish on. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Check that guy out. Sweet. Let's see if I can unhook him without touching him.
nice when it just falls right out. All right, buddy. Sweet. There we go. Fish on. Fish on! Sweet. All right. Time for the release. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining Kobe and I on another Winter's Day fly fishing adventure. I do appreciate it at one of my favorite lakes. And hey, if you're fishing lakes or any type of still water, I put together a video right here that'll give you some tips and tricks on catching more fish when fishing lakes. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.